The title of the show is Sight, S-I-T-E, but obviously homophonically that, that gives us sight as well. And I'm um, I know it's got, yeah, 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 that, so yeah. frankly that's how I'd spell <laughs> S-I-G-H-T for me. So in a way, when I was commissioned for the show to make new work, I kind of went with the idea of making site-specific work, even though it's for, for a, a, a gallery space, but it's a, a rather vast gallery space. But thematically, I wanted it to link together fairly well, and it was generally, I suppose, about things that had something about them intrinsically that, that seemed to intuit something about the notion of mathematics or the sublime or, or yeah. I mean, that's uh, what the, I got yeah. when I saw the images that, um, you know, there's a lot about this sort of tension between order and yes. disorder yeah. and the idea of uh, space, because, I mean, you've got that incredibly large chessboard yeah. which um with all the, the yeah. stones on so they're they're well, they're, they're two to the power of 16, 16 yeah, yeah which is quite a lot of it's 65,536 uh, yeah Now, I, I, I read that you chose this number because it has a special mathematical significance. Well, I discovered it was called a super perfect number. You know, I mean, I started simply with one chess map. Oh, right, right. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Which uh, is 2 to the power 3 by 2 to the power 3. 8 by 8. Right. So 64, 2 to the power um, 6. Yes. I suppose, you know, we have equations and, and all the rest of it in, in mathematics much in the same way that we have a language that deals with the fact that, you know, there's 10,000 bricks over there, but we call it a wall, because then we can deal with it, you know. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Well, I think, you know, especially in this um, modern age where uh, people are having to deal with just the large numbers that they do not understand. I mean, when we say we've got a, the, the, the debt at the moment is billion, yeah. trillion, I mean, yeah. when everyone, I think when people hear billion, trillion, uh, basically, that's just infinite uh, that, for them. Yeah, you know, they have no because we don't ever get a sense of those numbers in our everyday life. Yeah. So, so this is, in a way, your piece gives people a chance to to think, to yeah. experience the the sheer size of doubling something yeah. up sixteen times. That's not very much. No, I mean, no. you double uh, something sixteen times, you wouldn't expect to get somehow that many stones. I mean, for me, that's always a really interesting tension because I spend my world time in a world where the infinite is something I play with every day. Mm. And it's a very familiar, but actually in the physical world, do you, is there anything that is infinite? Yeah. And, you, and your, your pieces seem to be sort of yeah, pushing I that, I mean, uh, which I quite like. Yeah, and I, yes, I quite like the way this piece plays off the film as well, because it's a shingle beach where I, I shot it as well at yeah. Folkestone. So it's kind of, yeah, it's almost like it's, a... I mean, know, yeah. I thought it, it sort of said to me, that, you know, that uh, uh, eternal thing about large numbers, how many grains of sand are yeah. there on a beach? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, sort of, these are the large grains. Indeed, and, uh, indeed, indeed. Uh, but then the other interesting work that you've got next to that is mm. this, the other wall, I think it's yeah. called, is that right? Yeah. Which has 10,000 bricks, yeah. with each individually numbered, and then you've um, just randomly... Ran Randomised them, yeah. Arranged yeah, them. Yeah. And I, I, that just starts to obsess me as a mathematician because, you know, 10,000 bricks, you know, how many different walls are there that you could have made? I mean, it's a ridiculously large number. I mean, it had, it was 10 to about 30,000 or something. And I, I calculated if every brick was an atom, a, a, a hydrogen atom, yeah, if every brick was a hydrogen atom, you lined up all of those walls, it, you would easily get from one side of the observable universe to the other. I mean, just very quickly, with, you know, there'd be tons of walls still left over. So the sense that, I mean, that's why I think, you know, that wall you've shown is yeah, one of yeah. so many. So it, it's sort of, you know, th this is my mathematical nerdy obsessiveness um, yeah, yeah, yeah. starts to come through. <laughs> so I then start to think, oh, that's really interesting. So are there any patterns there? Mm, it it yeah. has something sneaked in yeah, that, yeah, um, yeah, that yeah. you've done that, um, that shows that maybe this isn't as random as we thought it was. Or yeah, like yeah. Tr trying to give substance to those ideas on the one hand, and at the same time make things that are illusory. I find it that my eye just darts about in in a very strangely active, but but um, kind of um, a free running exercise. Or, or it, 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 yeah, it takes me out of myself a bit. It's quite a strange yeah. kind of feeling that. Yeah. that, that but run, I think run, run, that's yeah. the, the, the connection between us, actually, as a mathematician and an artist. 
that, that actually what we're both looking for when we see something like that is structure. Yeah. That, you know, and, and oftentimes that structure no, might actually be the same. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. why I offer time and again, I find that, well, that's really weird. That, yeah. that artist has been drawn to a similar thing just for aesthetic reasons yeah. that I, yeah. and I think actually it's about all of our brains. I mean, we're all pattern searchers. That's how we navigate the jungle.